Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Tuesday, October 13th, 2015. Thanks for tuning in to episode 51 of Cardoodle. This is Jim. Continuing work on the Halloween 2015 episode of Welcome to Boulder Dash. I expect to have this done by the 23rd at the latest, earlier if I can. I'm adding a few details to the inside of the house because that's going to be important. I'll also be inserting the two main characters. And if you watch really closely towards the end you'll see me put Slender Man in the background. The cartoon doesn't really have anything to do with Slender Man, I just thought it would be fun to kind of have him in there as a cameo. Since you know it's a Halloween episode and it's supposed to be how everything is scary and all that. This time of year I like to watch kind of macabre themed TV shows and movies. Now I'm not really a horror movie fan, but I like things that are themed around Halloween and paranormal events and so forth. It's a great pumpkin, Charlie Brown, and uh, Trick or Treat are a couple of yearly favorites of mine. History Channel's The Real Story of Halloween is another favorite, even though I've seen all of these a million times. I just like to sit down and watch them every year. We'll even get into the stupid shows like A Haunting, which I want to say was on Travel Channel or something? I don't... One of the Discovery Networks where they would recreate alleged haunting scenarios and pretty much every single episode was the same, just with different characters. Or there was a show from a few years ago called like America's Most Haunted or something like that. They basically went around to a bunch of hotels who wanted publicity and talked about the alleged hauntings of those locations. I know, they're all dumb, but it's fun to kind of suspend your disbelief for a little bit this time of year. But this year, I watched a couple episodes of a series that tops them all in terms of how silly it is. You've probably heard of this, it's called Ghost Adventures. If you thought Ghost Hunters was dumb, this tops it. Got your host with way too much gel in his hair, trying so incredibly hard to seem cool and down with the youth. And he and his ghost hunting partner who works the camera just always seem to attribute the paranormal to pretty much everything that goes on around them. Cause to tell the truth, that's their job. Their job isn't to truly investigate. Their job is to take slowly opening doors and video artifacts and claim that they're made by ghosts. And we're expected to buy this because they're in old spooky buildings. Like if it were any other context, like if they were locked inside an Arby's overnight, you wouldn't assume that every single noise or speck of dust on the camera lens is actually the Arby's ghost looking to haunt and communicate with customers about the new roast beef special. Whether we find something believable is really all about the context I've said before, I'm almost 100% sure I don't believe in ghosts. I'm open to the idea, but I honestly haven't seen any real evidence that ghosts exist. I don't think you're weird or stupid if you do, because in all honesty, there is a chance I could be completely wrong. I at least have some level of understanding of why people would want to believe in this stuff, because I myself find it really fascinating, which is why I'm probably going to put out a Halloween episode of some kind of cartoon every year. Even if something comes up in my life and and I'm not able to make cartoons regularly anymore. I imagine I'll still want to make something about Halloween every October. I guess I have two questions for the comments this time around. The first is, what is your stance on ghosts? Do you think they're real? Do you think they're not real? Are you kind of on the fence about it? Have you ever had an experience that you believe to be ghost related? And the other question is, what are your regular Halloween activities? Do you watch spooky movies and TV shows like I do? Do you go out to a party? Are you in a neighborhood that hands out candy? Do you decorate your house? That reminds me, I've got a great story about when I was six years old and I lived in one of those neighborhoods that kind of overdid Halloween a little bit. I'll save that for next week because it's a really good one. It'll probably take up a whole blog. As always, thank you so much to those of you who are watching. I really appreciate it. Go ahead and comment if you like and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, do like your mom told you and share. I'll see you wonderful people next Tuesday.